Detectives spent hours searching this house on Woodbine Avenue in Dallas, the last known address for 25-year-old Oscar Sanchez Garcia. Police arrested Garcia Wednesday in connection to three homicides in southwest Dallas, each one committed within a matter of weeks. The body of 60-year-old Kimberly Robinson was found in April in a grassy area under a dart train bridge in the 200 block of Santa Fe Avenue. In late June, the body of 25-year-old Cherish Gibson was discovered in the same area. And just days ago, the body of a third unidentified woman found on Brazos Street. Police say two of the three women had possible ties to sex work. It is a, a tight-knit community, so the women talk to each other. Bianca Davis is CEO of New Friends New Life, an organization fighting human trafficking. When news of the murder surfaced, she says they immediately checked their database. Undoubtedly, we serve women there, so we were so concerned and looked at the names and to see if it was one of our women. Before Garcia's arrest, Dallas police notified the public of a trend in murders. Davis says the stories of violence on the streets are endless. They talk about being strangled, being assaulted, being abused, and wondering if this is the night that's my last night. Police declined to comment further on Garcia and his connection to the women, but records show he was charged for family violence in March of this year. Davis says there's relief. He's off the streets. The danger is still out there, but at least in this case, that's one less woman that would suffer this fate. The preliminary investigation identified Garcia as the suspect. In Dallas, Candace Sweat, NBC5. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.